nah, I was just laughing at you guys' music. When I say you guys, it's anyways, like... What does that mean? A GP, you want to go there? We're going to go there, Ghanaian music. What, like, hang what? Chief. What uh, have we done? Just because I went to go and blow my nose. Like, we've recorded this about how many times? Three times. And I needed to go and blow my nose. And he said... Handkerchief. Yeah, I said maybe you should carry a handkerchief. Yeah, and then for me, I'm the kind of person where like we're speaking about something, it's gonna immediately bring up a song. Um, that's in my mind. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, to be honest, I'm my own HMV. So yeah, so then I was just thinking to myself, hold on a minute, what does El Shaddai have to do with a white handkerchief? I don't. I don't. Maybe, maybe you should ask the creator of the song. Who is the creator of the song? I'm not too sure, okay. but I'm sure that if you were to ask him. You know, put you in the right direction. I hope so. I would like to know what was inspiration oh, for. Oh, really and truly, that's not what you were laughing Marie about. Marie handkerchief and um, <laughs> God together. <laughs> that's not what you were laughing about. Handkerchief, okay. So, tell them what you were laughing about. So, so basically, I think on the car ride in, we were laughing at um, never, um, no, would you rather jokes. Mm-hmm. And um, so there was one that I saw. Uh, it was saying, would you rather wear a red wig for the rest of your life or would you rather wear three, <laughs> three sizes up uh, in shoes for the rest of your life the thing is I feel like the red wig can be styled according to time nah, it has to be an no, Aunt one. no no wait no wait so you know how they used to have that hair is it premium now I forgot the name of it the but heck? Brian the hair shop the ladies will know what I'm talking about and it was that Remy hair so there was a time when there was like Remy hair and it's Remy, Remy like <laughs> it's human hair but it's not really up there okay. and then you have like the brass Brazilian hair so maybe depending on the time we're in yeah. that red wig can be well, banging is it is it those shiny wigs like these yeah, aunties used so to wear back like, in the days yes yeah, so that's what the I'm one saying. that looks bulletproof <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying but yeah. like if it's in this time and day and age where it's like lace wigs and stuff then it's cool. Oh, I don't I mind do. wearing a red wig red wig rig Red wig for the rest of my life. I don't mind it. Red Diana. Nah, no chance. I'm not going to do that. But you never know what shade of red it is. It, it could be a banging shade. Like what though? Like Ribena. But Ribena's purple. No, no, no. It depends. Okay, fair days. Fair days. I, I, I don't even know, you know, to be honest. I don't think I could do, I can, I can do either. Either or to be honest. Because me, I'm a solid eight and a half. I can't go up to size 11. Start looking like my man from... Looney Tunes. What's that guy with the long feet? Um, what's his name? Is it the, is it the bunny? Nah, not box bunny. What's that guy's name again? Um, shall I someone with a long foot? I can't do it. Is Forget it? foot. Nah. I'm yeah, good. I think I'm good with the hair. I think a red wig would suit you though. Nah, Your definitely. complexion and everything. What, because I'm able. So, but, so why do you have to go there? Well, is that what I we're said, doing? So we're doing on the pod. Discriminatory. <laughs> I said complexion. Not okay. Ethnicity. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So let's ah. let's start as we mean to go anyway. <laughs> All right, let me throw a couple of silly ones at you. What about the one that you mentioned earlier? Which one was that? So, would you rather <clears throat> um, go on with the rest of your life without having the sense of smell yeah. or Bro. the sense of taste? It's, it's going to have to be, I'm going to lose the sense of taste, to be honest. Yeah, I love, yeah 100%. So, you'd, you'd rather just smell? 100%. I'm gonna, I'm but gonna, you're a, a big foodie. Yeah, I love food, but regardless of that, I love my personal hygiene at the same time. Imagine if <sighs> you hot summer's day, your arm is yeah, beaten off. Yeah, but then regardless... Your, uh, let me learn. Your arm is beaten off in the summer and you, you don't have anybody around you that's going to tell you. Imagine that. And you're there, just... You're holding train. Central line. You're holding train in the central line. Your arm you don't is even take off. the train, though. No, 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 you but, drive no, your fire. I know, but on other occasion I'm taking the train. I can't have that. Do you know what I mean? I'm but not then, saying... Wouldn't you take like extra precautions? I know for myself, let me be real, my choice would be definitely to lose my sense of smell. I love food too much to be parted with that. Yeah, I would That's the risk you're willing to take. I would I would take it. I would risk it. For a chocolate biscuit, I would risk it. Do you know what it is though? They're just taking the enjoyment out of food. Like you you still can't eat. Yeah, you know but they're not being able to taste your food. That's, Are you sure you want to go there? Are you basic. sure? Yeah, but the thing is, not being able to taste my food and enjoyment, or not being able to have friends to taste to have food with, because you're smelling that bad. No, but you will take. Extra Who wants to be around a smelly man or woman? No, but you will take extra precautions <laughs> on a hot summer's day or hot, during the summer. Most people take two showers a day, anyways, because True. they're sweaty. They know how their body is. So as long as you know your body, you will be carrying deodorant oh, and perfume with you every fair, day. Fair, fair enough, but there's certain man that you. 
go be on the central line, eight thirty in the morning, rush hour, and someone's armpit is just twanking everyone up like, mm. like you got like the armpit <laughs> booting. Everything to yourself like eight AM, bro. Well, I, so that's what I'm saying. I can't. I can never I, yeah. because because deep. I think more time as well. More time. Why people smell is because they don't deep that they close smell. Is that stale sweat from yesterday? Yeah, yeah, I can well, get away. You've got to carry on that shit again, though. Exactly, though. But the thing is, once you do that sense of smell, you you won't have the capacity to know. You know, like, oh, uh, we need to find that meme, man. We don't have the capacity. You don't have the capacity <laughs> to know that your arm is stinking, bro. No, I, nah, I know man. it's food for me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think we're gonna have to disagree. Well, agree to disagree with that. But no, anyway... We'll throw the question out there to you guys on our Instagram and you can let us know definitely. what you'd rather do. Use the hashtag TFP and let us know. We're actually going to... In fact, I think this week you need to do a poll. Yeah, we will. Would you rather lose your sense of smell or your sense of taste? And exactly. we'll see who trumps. And depending on the one you guys choose, we'll do a... a, a podcast on it. I don't know how smell has anything to do oh, with I thought you, I thought you were going to say we're going to do a challenge. A challenge? I hold your nose. No, I thought, you were, I thought you were going to say we're going to do a challenge as in like... No, if you guys choose smell, then we'll find something related to fitness and smelling. Yeah. And if you do taste, we'll probably speak on food because I know you guys are gagging to hear about food yeah. on this podcast. And don't worry, we will go there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We but we'll go there. But anyway, so. guys, good evening. Welcome to the Fit Hub Podcast TFP with myself, Cena Wemo. Cheers. And myself, a Beverly. And as you know, today is sponsored by the fabulous. Fit Grub, follow them on Instagram at MyFitGrub. What is it? It's a snacking revolution, so get in fast. You don't know, they don't know. Use the hashtag TFP on socials. Also, hit us up on the DMs. Anything that you want us to talk about, any questions that you have for mm. myself or Beverly, um, our DMs are open. Slide yeah. up in there. 100%. And even if you have embarrassing stories, I would love to do a podcast where we're just reading out That'll embarrassing stories, That'll like fitness, or like... Yeah. Diet stories that would be hilarious. I would love yeah, to go. Ahead I think and do definitely, that. definitely. <laughs> when we do that, there's a few that I can take from. <laughs> there's, there's a few You're that, wicked. There's, there's, a, there's a few that I can take from the archive. Yeah, there's a few I can take from the archive. No names will be na- named. No names. Name. Yeah. No names. But no names. Um, we can we can use it as banner. Don't worry, sis. So today we're going somewhere that no man. Yeah. Especially if you're of a certain ethnicity, you yeah, dare to go yeah, yeah. due to superstition and folklore. Yeah. I don't know if that's a word, myth. <laughs> so, we're going to the place called Yoga. Oh. Now, what are your thoughts on yoga, especially men practicing yoga? Do you know it is my ignorant mind will just come and say, Yoga is just glorified stretching? If I'm being real. <laughs> I'm being real. I mean, I've never done a day of yoga in my life. Um, big 26, never done a day of yoga. 10 years in the gym, never done a day of yoga. Yo, yoga. <laughs> yoga. Um, but I would be open to it. Okay. If I'm being real, I've read and I've seen so many benefits of yoga. So, for example, it helps with the mobility of an individual. It helps prevent um, injuries. Um, I know, yeah, mobility, flexibility, and that's one thing that I think that sets in as we get a bit older and older and older. We become less mobile. I remember there's a few people that I train; they can't even touch their toes, and it, and a lot of the times I think you not being able to do that, they attribute it to weight and all and everything like that. But no, in actual fact, it's a lack of mobility. So I'm open to yoga. Yeah, yeah. how about you? Um, I don't, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> And do you know why I say I don't know how I feel? It's because, you know, growing up, you know, you mentioned yoga in your household yeah. and your mum would just look at you like, are you sure you want to go there? Have you I have. I think it's been something because my mum was always going to the gym when I was younger. You know, um, she was going fitness first actively. And, you know, she would, you know, come back with timetables and see yeah. what's going on in the gym. And I'm always like, so like, oh, why don't you try yoga? And she's like, mm, yoga. And then she'll begin to say, you know, meditation, all of that stuff is not good for you. It's evil. It's this, it's that, <laughs> just loads of superstition with yoga, and I just, I guess, anytime someone tells me about it, straight away I come with that notion of thought that yeah. it's evil, it's weird, it's this, it's that. There's um, and all of this stuff. Like I just yeah. come stereotypical, mad stereotypical because of what I've been told. Yeah. So like I don't know. I'm still skeptical. Um, very very skeptical. I just I don't know. I mean. 
I could just go in my bedroom, sit on my bed and just breathe in and out. Like, why do I need to do yoga? Exactly. Yeah. The only time I'll tell you this for free, I remember when I was in uni, the only time I went to a, in quote, yoga night, and I don't even think it was yoga. Like, yoga you night. Know, yeah, you know, like, I think it was like a chakra night or something like that. You know, like, when it's people chakra. do, like, their, their senses or something like that. This is way before, like, I was even going to church or whatever. Yeah. This is a very <laughs> stupid story. So, I remember... We've gone there now. Me, I had a friend called Drake at the time, and um, some other people. And we're like, yeah, 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 let's go to this yoga night. Da, 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 like, um, what was it called? Like, they feed us at the end of it. So they, all, uh, so, so uh, yes, okay, yes, <laughs> rumbled me. I went to this night because at the end of it, they like, they were giving away like free wraps, so like fajita wraps and whatever. Uh, you just had to enjoy the night. So it was like a room of, <clears throat> it was a room of thirty people, and then. Like, you have, like, this sensei that's sitting at the front. And then you have, like, the room full of people just sitting down. And he's like, so just focus on your breathing. In and out. In and out. And he was just speaking like that, literally. Focus on your breathing. It sounded like, you know, like, the, that um, that voice on the station. This is a Victoria line today. That's what the guy it sounds like. Some sound aggressive, though. Some of what? Like, Serious? In certain stations, that, that voice is aggressive. <laughs> Yeah, right so, the, so the guy, it was funny, he was so mellow. And then in the end, I was just like, I was turning to my bro, I was like, bam, how long is this going to last, bro? I'm hungry, bro. Do you know what I mean? So in the end, we got the fajita wraps and we bust out to him. They tried to get our contacts. We gave them false numbers. So did you yeah. partake in it or did you just stand there? Like, no, no, we, we sat down and we were doing the... So that wasn't meditation, that wasn't yoga. Yeah, but there was, there was sometimes that like, they got us to stand up and do all, like, all these... So you actually did it? Yeah. Wow. I was, you know, I was fit then. I'm still, I'm, I'm still fit now. But like, I was fit then in terms of like, I was, I was part of the rowing team. Um, I was going to the gym a lot, of, a lot in the week, much more than I'm going now. No, so, yeah, okay. Yeah. Fair it was, enough. Uh, it was good. It's weird though, because, you know, when I think of guys and I think of yoga, I've had friends like in uni that mm. were, you know, actively doing yoga yeah. and they would not feel uncomfortable but they felt like if the guys were coming into the yoga classes it was just to chat up girls because they know 100%. when you think of yoga you know there's going to be girls Definitely. there so it's almost like there'll be that one guy and everyone's just very intrigued and every girl's like oh he does yoga and all of a sudden all the girls are interested yeah. he taps into like a, a different side of himself that isn't just all about masculinity so yeah. they're like oh interesting who's that yeah. it's just a it's like a chat up line without speaking mm-hmm. it's just a I've, What's he doing here? Yeah, I, if I'm being real, I've never seen any other man them go and do yoga. Talk less of, and in fact, I've never, yeah, I've never seen any other man them go to any of those spin classes. Because in our gym, there's an there's an upstairs area where they, they used to hold classes and they used to do like uh, burnout sessions, um, yeah. spin classes, or whatever. I've never seen any other man them touch that too little. Yeah, yeah so. it's weird though. It's really, really strange. I mean, if a guy came and told me that he does yoga, I think he's really soft. I'm, Serious? I'd, I'd be like... I think that's literally, that's what society is even paying but, for. But this is the thing, yeah. because when you think of yoga, you think of a guy and in hippie clothing. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Just like linen. Yeah. And, and like like a, a man, a man bar, man bar yeah, yeah, yeah. like just free. You like spaghetti, you know? Yeah. Slimmers. But it's crazy because there is serious athletes, like yeah. athletes that practice it, and some of them are bodybuilders that actually practice it. It helps them, as we said, with mobility. It helps with a lot of other areas, even anxiety, stress, yes. all of this stuff. It actually helps. I, f- I think there was a there was a, um, a bodybuilder back in the days called Jay Cutler. He actually did um, bodybuilding. Now, if you Google who Jay Cutler is, he's a he was still is now. He's built like a brick house massive yeah. but this is something that he was doing because obviously if you got all of this mass you're definitely 100% going to lose mobility that means you can't wash your back talk less of <laughs> touch touch your touch, touch your back you know what I mean so yeah, yeah no they, do, they definitely do have benefits um, with yoga have you ever done yoga I haven't done yoga before yeah. I mean I don't know I could try I'm, I mean I could try it yeah. but I think I'm more intrigued in sort of like Pilates. Okay. But I didn't know about yoga. I feel like I'll be bored. I mean, I had a friend say the other day that they used to do it, but they stopped because they just found it quite boring okay. and that they'd rather just stretch. But then some people say yoga isn't just stretching mm-hmm. because, you know, there's people that, that, there's people that do that. There's people that 
do like hot yoga and apparently it gets really sweaty and, and stuff like that. But I don't know. I think if I was doing that, that's where I would want to lose two cents as well. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Oh my, not on the gym floor. Have you smelt the stench on gym floors? Okay. Uh, no. Nah, the gym floor, especially on a busy, like, Thursday, Wednesday evening, 6pm, mad busy. The stench is unbelievable. Yeah. Absolutely unbelievable. So, no, I think it's something that we need to be more open to doing and to venture there. Yeah. Like, and, and I think, like we were even we've said, we've said before, there's, who have you seen? That looks like yourself or myself that has done yoga before. No, I mean, nobody, no point. No points. Okay, you tried it. Tried it. <sighs> what? Yeah. <Ever. laughs> so, <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Generally, you don't see anybody of a, 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 of an ethnic minority that does that. Majority of the times, you're seeing Sally, Jesse, um, Michael, um, that's doing. Pilates or yoga, and it's kind of like, okay, I don't really fancy that. You know what I mean? Yeah. My misconception of people that do yoga are people from California that smoke the hell out of weed. <laughs> it's true, like, yeah. I take magic mushrooms. Yeah, yeah those so people that talk like nice this. and supple, so slow, like, yeah. They're Volkswagen fans. On, on a Wednesday, I do yoga. But there must be something about it, though, because for even, as we said, bodybuilders, celebrities, a lot of people just do it yeah. as a, you know, a me time sort of exercise where they go where they just do it just to think. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we live in a generation where everything is so fast paced and we're constantly on our phones, constantly at work, constantly bamboozled with, you know, family issues and just life that we never take time to just think. Mm-hmm. And I think though I have my misconceptions and my own opinions about yoga, I think it's a modern day thinking practice oh yes i think it Mm. because imagine the gym is known to go somewhere where you're trying to lose weight you're trying to get fit you're sweating you're running you're jumping it's very much a lot of movement yeah you have this one class that tone brings it all down literally just brings it all down and it's like the zenith it's like the sweet spot in the middle to just calm everything down so i don't blame people for doing it and our generation maybe not our um you know, uh, our type of people, whatever that means anyways. But I think our generation is more intrigued by things like that because there's no other time to think. Well, you actually think our generation? I do think, I do think, when I say our generation, I don't mean like our, our ethnicity. Okay, do you think our age group? I think our age group is something Serious. because, you know, working in the fitness industry, the amount of like studio, um, what's it called, pop-up studio Boutique places that are opening, Bufuma Pilates um, boutique studios that are opening up. There is a lot more of them opening up, and if there is a lot of them opening up, that means there's more demand. Mm. Imagine something that may have only once upon a time been a class in a gym has now become boutiques and studios all over London. So True. clearly, there is a demand for it, whether young or old. Mm. And that's why I'm saying that we live in a day and age where it's very hard to just sit and think and it's nice to be able to go to something like a Pilates class or a yoga class or a meditation class where thinking is celebrated because there isn't time for that. Yeah. When you look at the greats, like let's say a Bill Gates, I remember I was watching a documentary not so long ago and he said that he takes something called a thinking week where he goes away wow. almost like on a mini retreat just to think and read. Mm. But let's be honest, did you take time out today just to think? Let's be real, like off your phone, off of like work and stuff like that. Just time to just even five minutes. That's shower time. Is, it, is that that for you then? Like, be real, be real. Yeah, to be honest, I think especially the first thing in the morning, and that's why I, I can't really say that, well, me personally, I can't really say that yoga, I can see it as a time to think. I can de stress and. Sure, I'm nice and supple. Oh, yeah, cool. But as for like thinking, nah, because I think definitely first thing in the morning, um, I'm conscious of what I feed myself first thing in the morning, in the sense of what I listen to. I remember back in the days, I wasn't. I'll even give you an example. It's crazy. I remember I was driving. I love giving examples. You all know it's that. 
I remember I was driving to work and I was like to myself, is that, is that you know when you have an out of body experience and you just think to yourself, Raw, why are you angry, bro? Do you know what I mean? I was screwing, I was like, da, 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 and I wasn't in traffic. And I was just thinking to myself, I was like, bro, okay, like, what happened today? Like, it's 8 30, bro. Like, why are you angry, innit? And had breakfast, man's happy. There's no traffic, everything's flowing nicely, everything's crisp. I was just thinking to myself, why am I angry? Why was it? It was the music I was listening to. <laughs> angry boy music. Do you know what I mean? Oh gosh, okay. And I'm just like, and as soon as I turned it off, I think that was that light bulb um, switch in my head and I realised, rah, okay, this thing that I'm listening to can actually impact how I feel and can actually impact the rest of my day. So I become conscious. Sometimes, you know, you will have your in quote slip ups or whatever. But I think... I get conscious to the, I get conscious and I realise, you know what, my guy, you're probably enjoying this music a bit too much. Yeah. You're, and this is now affecting your mood, yeah. you know, and I'm conscious to turn it off, dial it all the way back in. Oh, so, yeah. So I think definitely, um, but I do see on the other side of the coin, I do see how people can see people, uh, um, <laughs> at the top of the room. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not saying that it has to be that time that when that person is in yoga to think, but yeah. even for somebody just focusing on that one movement that the yogi instructor is telling them to focus on just helps them to get to a place where they're just focused yeah. and they can think on something. Where I guess everyone has their own time in which that okay. takes place. For some people, it's when they're lifting weights. For some people, it's when they're on the stepmaster. It's wherever. But I feel like it's a another place in which that is celebrated because we don't have many places like that. If not for the gym, a lot of us, where else do you get that zenith? Do you think the toilet is a, is a good like, place to think as well? Some people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It depends. No, why, why do they call it the throne? Like, I think it, like the throne, that's what they call it. Who, who thinks who says that? They, I'm on the throne. Yeah, I'm here that. I've never heard of that before. No. It's only you that no, definitely we're gonna, made we're, that up. We're definitely going to spread it. You've made that like, up. Like, that's part of the pause. People call it the throne. Have some you heard people, of that? some people, their best ideas is conceived while they're getting rid of waste. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I still feel like someone can get that from yoga. But I think a challenge for both myself and you is to actually maybe take it upon ourselves to actually. Hundred percent. Yeah. It will be awkward. I can believe it. I'll probably turn up there with no mat, and everyone else is coming in with their mat and flip flops. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh! When I worked in Nutfield, and yoga classes were going to start downstairs at like six pm on a Thursday. People are coming in, like, flip-flops on. They've got, like, you know, just an annoying backpack. And they've got, like, this yoga mat that they've they've personalised. And we're just looking at them. And they just, they come out of there just so, so like... Cut shorts, uh, cut t-shirt, innit? The ones you wear, like, nah, the ones no. you wear to the, to the gym. They, like, fly a little bit. The like, flary ones. Yeah, that's yeah not my body. He actually does. Like, he won't tell the gram that, but he does. You know, just don't let him deceive you. Um, but, yeah... <laughs> but yeah, they come up, come out in that. I'll be there. I know myself. I'll come in there like proper matching gym set, no mat, and the instructor will be like, "It's your first time, isn't it?" <laughs> it's all a joke to you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all for show. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, he's gonna look at me like, "Oh God, what is this millennial, or whatever they call us, yeah. <laughs> doing here?" But yeah, I I will try it. But I just sort of wanted to speak on that because. I feel like just like when we were speaking about the swimming um, a few episodes back, how sometimes because of where we're coming from, we don't tend to venture into or start doing certain activities because of all the superstition built up around it over the years that you don't go ahead and do it. And I think I think for myself, I really want to break that mold and start doing things. So even when, you know, swimming is something that when I was a member of Nutfield and um, they had a swimming pool there I would do it yeah. even though it was something that I hadn't done in a while you know yoga is something Pilates I want to try it I don't want to be stuck in the same old because it's comfortable yeah. I what do want to mm. reach different horizons and I, and I definitely believe as well as soon as you introduce that new thing your body will thank you mm. definitely um, yeah yeah because I feel like I'm very stiff mm. without knowing it and sometimes sure. I, I do think I am because I feel like how old are you? <laughs> what, why? Okay. I'm mean, way younger than you. Way. You go that far. But okay. No, but I am way younger than you. Like, you know this already. Don't try and act. Okay. Because so of the camera. 
Um, <laughs> we need to break out the WD forty, bro. <laughs> so it's like basically lubricating. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah. funny. No, I'm just saying that maybe stretching isn't sufficient because I'm just like, oh, a quick stretch. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I'm done. But you feel tight in certain yeah. areas. My lower back sometimes can feel a bit tight, and you know I don't really. I'm not a fan of mach- like massage. What is it? Um, massage just, ones as well. Oh my god! Do you know what? I'm, I think I'm actually gonna have to like sort out a massage. Like definitely shout out to La Bella Lounge, but um, yeah. I, I can't do the guns. It's too ticklish, and it's a weird. It's ticklish. A, it's a. It's a. Too targeted focus on the area. I don't know how to explain it, but it, it's so targeted that it's uncomfortable. It's not nice. I remember you were getting one, and you were even shouting, "Aj, Aj, Aj!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not too sure what that term is. Aj, 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 Aj. Why are you? Leg up, Aj, Aj. She did leg. She did leg there, and she was just screaming right there. Her coach said, "Ah, Aj, 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 Aj." Aji. What is it? Hmm? I wasn't doing that. Yeah, man. Why does she like to throw me no, under so the bus? Chips has decided that this is the platform where he will just throw me yeah. under the bus. Like, yeah. no man's business. Yeah, so it, it actually is true to be honest. I've seen how it works. So, yeah. Well done. I hope you, you enjoyed what you saw. Moving on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Silly guy. But yeah, no, no. So even, even based on that, I think one thing I definitely want to do is... I don't know, man, like, treat myself more, especially, like, I've never been for a massage before, and I know, um, X amount of years training, I've got some knots that yeah, are not, you know, 100%. um, and whether it be a full body massage, whether it be, um, that cupping therapy, that thing looks weird, though, yeah, looks them like red, that. them red spots, yeah, yeah, so, just, I don't know, man. Even if it's acupuncture, God forbid I become paralyzed. But like, I, I think I'm, acupuncture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you would have that. No, no way. Think, no way. It's not in you. No, nah, but the thing is, I've heard like the needles are not even like they 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 needles, but they're not even needling it like that. So what are they needling? No, no. Of course, it's going inside, but it's like it's not like painful. Like it's all giving you injection. Okay. I heard it's like it's just something. Like, uh, yeah. So I think so. Uh, definitely. Okay. Like a whole day of just like a full MOT and then I'll take a week off of work so I can recover. But he won't recover, guys. He'll be gallivanting all around London. Yeah. So, but yeah, I do agree. I definitely want to do the whole proper wellness thing, even looking to vitamins I can be taking, superfoods that I can be, you know, eating or supplements that I can have more often, but really taking the route of taking care of myself because, you know, we're getting to the age where we're not going to be moving the way we were before and if we don't instill those habits now you'll try and do it later and you'll grow frustrated with yourself yeah. that hey i'm not yeah. doing it like i need to be doing and so. because you can't go on a calorie deficit or keep the going on to be honest it doesn't it will not make sense to be frankly honest so i, I think definitely it's something that we just need to look into guys i think this is it this is where we finish today because before you just go what? yeah so um yeah i think definitely we do need to look into some supplements <laughs> and some other <laughs> and some other foods. Of yes, course. of course, hundred <laughs> percent. But yeah, guys, that's sort of our take on sort of our thoughts on yoga. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm open to having another discussion and even getting a yogi one day to have that discussion. A with yogi? Us. What's that term? A yogi is someone that teaches yoga. Do, do, do. That's a fun fact. <laughs> but yes. Yeah. So story, this story. is you know chips and Beverly's take on yoga. So. Yeah. Um, in and breathe out and breathe out yeah and stay calm and don't snap on the keyboard as a something uh, yeah that's it for yourself to cut okay peace out no TFC thank you very much love you all